Contact scripting offers many user interface controls that can be used in performance view. One of these is a level meter. In today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a level meter in performance view. And never miss the tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. So first, let's start off by making a new instrument. I'm just going to add a random sample. All right, I'm going to close the mapping editor. I'm going to open the script editor. Hit the edit button and let's begin. So, of course, let's set up our performance view. Let's set our script title. Clear any messages. So far, so good. Okay, so the the syntax of uh, the UI level meter is UI level meter. So the first thing that we need to do is declare it. So I'm going to say level one. And level two. And then I'm going to move the meters. So actually, let me hit apply so you can see them. This is where they sit. I'm going to move them so they sit one underneath the other. So I'm going to use move control. This is XY position. Oops, typo. There we go. All right, so one thing to keep in mind about the level meters is that currently you can only access the level meters in the output level of instrument buses or the instrument master. Okay, so the syntax to actually attach level meters is attach level meter. And then the next thing that you need to set is the ID of the control. So to get the ID of the control, I'm going to use the get UID command. And the get UID command is simple. It retrieves the ID number of a UI control and you just pass in the variable. So level one. All right, so the next variable for attached level meter is the, um, the group. So this is the index of the group you wanna access. And because, we're, because the level meters can only get level from instrument buses or the master, right now in version five, you can't get volume out of the group. So just leave this a negative one. The next um, parameter for attached level meter is the slot. Once again, um, this is a slot, um, the index of the, of the slot that you wanna access. Um, and this is actually for effects. And currently you can only get volume from the bus, instrument bus and the instrument master. So can't get volume from effects. So that means you need to leave this a negative one. And then the final uh, parameter, or actually, I'm sorry, it's not the final, there's two more parameters. The next parameter is the channel. So this is either the left or the right channel. So zero for left and one for right. And then the, the next slot, which is the final slot is, or parameter, is bus. So this is the index of the instrument bus you wanna access. So if you're not using instrument bus and you wanna use instrument master, you'll set this to negative one. Okay, and then close this parent up. Okay, so we have a uh, error. So let me see what I did wrong. So get UUID level one, negative one, negative one, zero, negative one. 
Okay, I see what I, I have extra parentheses. Okay, so now we have attached level one and I, I can play it so you can see we got the left channel. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for the right channel. This time I'm gonna set level two, negative one, negative one, zero. Oops, so this is a right channel, so this needs to be one, and then negative one. Hit apply. And now we and now we have level meters for our instrument. So let me close the uh, edit so you can see what it looks like in performance view. All right, so now um, in the current iteration, version five, you can only access the, the level meters from the instrument or the buses. So I just showed you how to do the instrument. So let's see how you do the, the bus. All right, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Actually, it doesn't need to be that big. Actually, I think two is, even two is fine. All right, I'm going to Add two new level meters. I'm going to call it three and four. I'm going to move the level meters. to attach the level meters to I'm going to say just so you can see it in action I'm going to choose bus 5 so that means remember the buses are a zero index so that means this will be um, bus 4 to change this to four to let it know that I want bus four. I'm gonna hit apply. No errors. Okay, so I'm gonna play this now so you can see that the levels will only come out of the top ones. So that's the instrument instrument master. And then I'm going to route this to bus five. And I'm also going to you see, so now that the instrument is routed to bus the bus five, I'm going to take the volume down. Okay, so the overall volume is 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 down. And what I'm going to do, so you can see the levels uh, differently, I am going to duplicate the the, um, the layer, the zone. Just move it to a new clone group. So now I have two groups. Okay, so now I finally have it right. Group one is going to the master, and group two is going to go to bus five. All right. So as you can see, group one is going to the master. It's not coming through bus five. master bus and because I reduce group 5 by to tell negative 12 the volume is lower all right so let me close the group editor go back to the script editor master bus master bus And that's it. So as you can see, the level meters is just another UI control that you can use. Um, and just make sure you check out the KSP reference for other UI controls that you can use in Performance View. And don't forget to check out our website at www.
www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.